HRT drivers and mechanics say work conditions are unacceptable during the COVID outbreak. They fear they're not getting enough protection or cooperation from management. 10 on your side's Chris Horn talked about sides. HRT says the workers have all the PPE they need to be safe. The workers, though, disagree. And they say measures that have been taken to increase distancing and reduce contact are simply not working. Union steward Michael Gilliam says he doesn't feel safe working on buses anymore. We're not getting any proper PPE in the shops. Mm -hmm. um, they say they're going to hold most of the PPE for the bus drivers. These drivers, mechanics, cleaners are coming to work every day, risking their lives to service the public. Mm -hmm. They are essential employees. We have masks, we have gloves, we have disinfectant wipes. Uh, we were recently able to even procure a hand sanitizer from a local distillery. HRT's head of human resources says all buses and offices are getting advanced nightly cleaning. And this is the kind of electrostatic disinfection that the hospitals use. The union provided this picture, which it says is evidence of dangerously overcrowded buses. HRT began boarding passengers by the rear door, closed off front seats, and eliminated fares in the interest of reducing contact. We do have several buses that have uh, an acrylic shield, so to speak, and we deploy those buses first. The company says it realizes with reduced schedules, some runs may be crowded. When the operator calls and says they have too many people, on, you know, a large number of people on the bus, we'll send out another bus. So Coming up at 6, how the two sides are far apart when it comes to defining hazard pay. Plus, I'll have more on the millions of federal dollars that have been earmarked for HRT for COVID relief. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.